Hey everyone, it's Nick with NJ Valenti Art, and in today's video, I want to share my thoughts on Affinity's new big announcement coming next week. All right, so first off, I'm sure you've all seen their website. Uh, you have the big tease here, Creative Freedom is coming October 30th. Um, but you can see that they've pulled their products. There's no way of actually purchasing uh, any Affinity products at the moment. Some people do think this is to prevent anyone from buying the old version uh, before they launch their new big version or whatever may be coming. Uh, apparently they had an issue with this, um, with the V2 launch where some people had bought version one right before version two came out and were upset that they had to go ahead and buy version two all over again. Now, however, they did change their forms to read only, um, which is a little strange. Um, maybe it's a way to control like rampant and like wild speculation and whatnot among people. But it is still just really strange that they would have shut the forms down and make it read only where you can't get in here and ask any new questions about uh, version 2 or anything like that. Now, the majority of people online are speculating that this means it'll be a subscription-based service and that it'll be bogged down with a lot of unwanted AI features, especially since Canva purchased Serif in March of 24. Uh, as we read through this here a bit, um, I think there is some, they, they kind of tell you a little bit about what their plans are um, in the future. Nothing specific, but they mentioned tapping into the professional design community, wanted to continue to use Affinity's uh, strong suite of um, assets um, to help make Canva continue to grow and things like that. So this is definitely worth a read here. And I'll have this, um, again, this is from March of 24, but if we read through this, it gives us a little bit of an idea of kind of where Canva might be trying to go with this. So I'll link this in the description. Now, one really interesting thing I did find was within Canva's courses, um, they have, you know, explained different aspects of Canva, how to use it, design aspects and whatnot. But if we scroll down here just a little bit, we see this announcement coming soon. Level up with new lessons on our latest launches unlock from October 30th. Now, that's very interesting because that's when Affinity's big new announcement is going to be. So this does bring me to the theory I've seen floated around online and the one that I tend to agree with, and that is that Affinity products will probably be moving towards a web-based app. So kind of think of it like you'd be able to log on to Canva and you open up and use Affinity Designer or Affinity Designer um, like tools and resources within the Canva framework. Um, I kind of feel like this is the direction they're going. That is the theory I agree with that I've seen online. Um, it kind of makes sense when you look at some of the language um, from their statement when they bought Affinity. And I think that would kind of honestly give them, I think what they'll end up doing is they'll be able to say, hey, look, we now have Affinity Designer features within Canva or Affinity Photo features within Canva that you can now go and do all these cool things with. And um you know, I, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of um, entry price to access that or if it would be more set up where you have access for free to a lot of the features, but maybe there are certain features or certain aspects of it that are locked behind a paywall that you'd have to unlock with a subscription since Canva does have their own subscription-based services on their website. Now, of course, this is all just speculation. I have no idea like what's coming or what's going to be announced on October 30th. Um, but just kind of some things I've seen online and reading through some stuff, just kind of where I feel where like it might be going. Um, I definitely would love to know your thoughts. So please let me know in the comments where you think this is going and what their new big announcement will actually entail. Now, I absolutely love Affinity. It is one of my go-to programs. I have used Affinity Designer constantly over the last five years. I absolutely love the program. I love everything they've done with it. There's Sure, there's new features that I'd like to see implemented and some things tweaked, but overall, to have access to such a powerful and unique program without having to pay a subscription has been so awesome. So I really, really hope they stick to their guns and, and stay loyal to um, the people who actually use their programs and continue to live up to that and, and give us a awesome addition to a great product that we could continue to use for many years to come um, without having to worry about any subscriptions or, or anything like that. So it'll definitely be interesting to see what they decide to do or what their announcement is going to be. So definitely mark your calendars for next week, October 30th. I am definitely looking forward to it and I will have all the videos and information I could possibly have for you all laying it all out and letting you know as soon as their announcement drops. Thank you so much for watching. 
Let me know in the comments what you think their big announcement will bring on October 30th. You can support the channel directly by buying me a coffee. The link will be in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time.